The last few days we've been talking about the quality, the power, the holiness of the words of Tehillim. And as doing how much during this month of Elul, we recite more psalms. We've explained it in many ways, so today I want to share with you a story. How can we not share a story? And obviously when we tell a story, we think about the Baal Shem Tov. The Baal Shem Tov, the founder of the Hasidic movement, was known, in addition to his great insights of Torah, to revealing the deepest mysteries, the deepest concept, the mystical aspect of the Torah. His teacher, Achia Shaloni, the prophet. At the same time, he was also known to have devoted a tremendous amount of time and attention and love and care for the most simple of people. So there's a beautiful story told that one Shabbos, where the Baal Shem Tov would sit with his, what called the Chavraya Kaddisha, the Holy Society, his greatest and most important students, the Magid of Mezrij, the Rav of Polnoya, scholars in their own right, great minds, people who have reached tremendous Kedusha holiness. And the system was, there was times that was devoted only for them, where the Baal Shem Tov would sit just with them. And there were times where everybody was invited at the Shabbat table, at the Shabbat Fabrengen. And at the Shabbat Fabrengen, where everyone was invited, including the most simple of people, the Baal Shem Tov would devote tremendous time to them. He would even give him to drink from his personal cup. He would give him lachayim from his own becher. He would give him a piece of the chale, of his chale. A tremendous, tremendous attention and closeness. Sudash Lishit was a time devoted for his, for the Holy Society. And at that time, the Baal Shem would reveal the deepest of secrets. And as they were sitting concentrated, listening to the teachings of the Baal Shem Tov, some of those students started thinking, what a pity. What a pity that the Baal Shem Tov is taking so much time of his precious time, devoting to the simple people when he could have voted to us and giving us more and more of his deepest insights and secrets. The Baal Shem Tov obviously sensed that thought. And the Baal Shem Tov went into a deep vacuous deep concentration. And he asked his chassidim, to stay, his students to start singing some very special, heart-wrenching songs. And after a while, the Baal Shem Tov asked them to form a human circle. Each one should put a right hand on the left shoulder of the one next to him, and so on, and created a human link with he himself having put his right hand on the person on his right side and his left hand on his left side. And like this, they all went into a trance, into a deep, deep, deep meditative mode. And suddenly, transported to different worlds, they heard beautiful recitations. They heard one of a voice saying, Master of the universe, and recites a verse of the Tehillim. Another one who says, Tate in Himmel, Father in Heaven, and recites another verse. Another one who says, Tate Hatzike, my beloved Father, and recites a verse of the Hillim, and so on. This one who says, Oi Gewalt, Sisa, Vater in Himmel, awesome Father, sweet Father, expressions of deep, deep sincerity and purity. Such an exalted moment. And suddenly, the Baal Shem Tov removed his two hands from his students immediately to him. And they found themselves all sitting on the table, still mesmerized from this tremendous godly revelation and depth of feeling to the point that the Maggid related that he was sweating to the... His shoes were full of sweat. That's how exalted this moment was. And then the Baal Shem Tov said, my tell me to my students, listen what you hear now. 
And then they realized what they heard in those heavenly worlds was actually the recital of Tehillim of the simple people sitting next to him. Of the simple people who are not allowed into the room of the Baal Shem Tov, into the shul, into the holy quarters of the Baal Shem Tov, where he would teach them the deepest secrets of Torah. They were at that time reciting in their sincerity, in their simplicity, in their honesty, in their deeply felt soul yearning for God, said the Baal Shem Tov. We can't reach this level. This is a level where only purity of heart can reach. And they reach deeper. That's when they understood. Those students realized that the Baal Shem Tov sensed what they have, were thinking. And the Baal Shem Tov showed them the power, the beauty of simplicity reciting the words of Tehillim. 